founder of the dangers of BB guns, Carlos Flores, the trauma coordinator for the Pediatric Trauma Center at Valley Children's Hospital and a representative of Safe Kids Central California is here with some startling facts. Good to see you, Carlos. Thanks for coming in. Oh, it's always a pleasure to be here. So talk about this latest incident. This boy is currently at Valley Children's. Um, I can't get into the specifics of his case, but I will tell you in general that um, Air-powered guns are not the gun, BB guns of old. You know, like Ralphie, yeah, mm -hmm. you can, yeah. in fact, shoot your eye out. But uh, the difference is, the primary difference is that uh, the BB guns, pellet guns, air-powered guns of today are frequently shooting at a muzzle velocity that is over 1,000 feet per second. Now, what's significant about that is muzzle velo the muzzle velocity for conventional firearms is just about the same. So for example, a nine millimeter handgun has a muzzle velocity of 1100 feet per second. And as I just mentioned, air powered guns uh, can exceed that very easily from 1000 to almost 2000 feet per second, which is absolutely incredible. So these, um, uh, the missiles, the projectiles that are coming out of air powered guns uh, are traveling at the same speed as a bullet is. Oh my goodness. Now, there are different ballistics involved with that, uh, which uh, certainly cause the bullet to be much more harmful, obviously. But uh, our point is that, uh, that BB guns and pellet guns uh, can do very significant damage, and we have had circumstances, uh, fatalities, that have occurred as a result of these uh, types of uh, injuries. What are they for? Well, They're not just toy guns. They're, oh, are absolutely. They? They, they are absolutely are they not toys. And that's one of the things we want to get out into the community is that uh, these BB guns and pellet guns are not toys. They, are, they need to be respected as any conventional firearm is respected. Uh, they're being marketed at, for, uh, for use as uh, small game hunting. Um, and, uh, and they're very effective in that means. Uh, and the higher velocity air powered guns are now actually being used to bring down conventional game. So deer hunting, mm -hmm. for example. Um, that's why the higher velocities uh, that are getting to about 2,000 feet per second uh, are being marketed that way. So right now, is there a limit, an age limit, on who can buy these guns? You know, uh, that's not clear to me. And uh, we know that, th that we do have uh, limits uh, on conventional firearms. However, we don't, we're not certain if that extends down to the air-powered weapon. So that's something that I do have to do my own research on. Yeah. But in the meantime, if families choose to have these things in their homes, uh, we strongly advocate for them to be under direct adult supervision, uh, making sure that when they're not in use, that the kids do not have access to them, uh, that, uh, that when they're not in use to be unloaded and stored and locked in the same manner that we would a firearm. Um, and then also uh, making sure that if there, an injury does occur, that you take that injury very seriously. There is literature that shows um, first responders, uh, emergency department nurses, trauma nurses, parents, adults don't take these types of injuries seriously. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just a BB gun. Right. Well, in fact, we know what can happen as a result of that. Mm -hmm. And we've had very, very significant injuries. So I brought a picture of one here that uh, uh, of the, um, there's a picture of an, uh, of an x-ray uh, where you can actually see the projectile inside of the brain. And then uh, right below it, there's uh, actually some fragments that we removed from a child's head. Uh, as a result of, of this kind of a uh, uh, injury. Yeah, wow. yeah. So so the, the BBs do penetrate because I think they there's this mis misconception mm -hmm. that it is a toy and mm -hmm. that they're not going to penetrate, they're just going to hurt a lot. Well, they do hurt a lot. Yeah. Um, and they don't always penetrate, but they can very easily penetrate. In fact, it takes roughly about 150 feet per second to penetrate the globe of the eye and only takes Ooh. about 250 feet per second to penetrate the human body. Oh. So as I'd mentioned, these things are shooting out at 1,000 feet to almost 2,000 feet per second, very much uh, enough velocity to yeah. penetrate the body. Uh, we've had them in every uh, body part that you can conceive of. We've had them in the brain, in the, in the face, in the eye, certainly Yikes. in the heart, oh. around the heart. Uh, we even had a situation where uh, a, a child was struck in the thigh and the projectile uh, embolized, which means it traveled uh, up into the right atrium of the heart. And we had to actually go in and get that thing uh, out of the heart. It was just absolutely incredible. Oof. So what is your message to parents out there? This yeah, is... take these things seriously. 
Yeah, take them very, very seriously. Again, reiterating, these are not toys. Uh, they need to be uh, considered as conventional firearms and take all the same precautions that one would with a, a regular handgun or a rifle. So what if your child gets struck by a BB? What do we, we call 911 right away, we take them to the hospital. Uh, will they start bleeding profusely? What's gonna happen? They won't be bleeding profusely. In fact, uh, there's very little external blood that you'll see from okay. these. Uh, all of the damage is going to be on the inside. Now, in certain situations, we, can, we actually have had situations where the uh, projectile has penetrated into the brain and the child still seems to be okay. Um, and then when the, you get the, bring the child to us and we see that there is in fact some subtle neurological differences and signs and we take an x-ray and we find out where this thing is, uh, just like you're doing with your face, or yeah. with your eyes, your Shock. eyes just open yeah. up and, wow. uh, and then we have intensive care um, admissions. Uh, and of course, if, if for any injury, if a child is having difficulty breathing, if they have uh, profuse blood coming out, if they have uh, any kind of neurological difference amongst them, uh, make certain to bring them in yes. or call 911. So mm -hmm. helpful, Carlos. Thank you so much for coming on. And if you guys have any more questions about this topic, just contact Carlos Flores at Valley Children's Hospital. Thanks Absolutely. again. Thanks, Carlos. Always Thank you. Good reminder. Good reminder. Good. Coming up, owning your own business can be a dream come true, but the bookkeeping can be a nightmare. Who can help? We'll tell you coming up. We're telling stories that matter, stories that hit home. I do it just out of love for her and to carry on her legacy. Story